guys welcome back to my channel I am Megan this is ethereal orb art and there's a little gnat walking around on my um, parchment paper there <laughs> sorry distracted me a little bit so anyway um, today as promised I'm going to do a larger um, loaded paper towel swipe I did a little one just to try it out um, a little while ago and I promised I would try it on a larger scale because I really like the way it worked. If you did not see that first um, video, what I mean by loaded paper towel swipe, one of these days I'm going to be hungry and I'm going to call it a loaded big potato swipe. Um, but anyway, I put paint on the paper towel. I dipped the paper towel in paint before I swiped over the other colors. So I wasn't using um, this. The top color is the swipe color. I was using um, paint off the canvas on the paper towel as a swipe color. And I had a lot of people uh, mention that they don't like the swipe line, and this obviously causes you not to have that swipe line. So um, that's kind of a neat side effect of, of using this. So um, we'll see how it does on a large scale. And I love the colors I'm using tonight um, as they are here. So I hope they behave for me when I do the pour. Um, where's my little... This is... How yummy is this? I love this color. This is Arteza's Pearl Deep Brown. And then I have Arteza's Gold, which is my absolute favorite gold. This is Arteza's Gold. Pretty, pretty. Very bright. Not bronzy or anything. Um, this is doo -doo -doo, Deco Art Bahama Blue. And then I have... Um, this is a teal that I mixed. It's not showing up quite as bright. It's showing up a little bit darker and a little bit more blue. This is a teal that I mixed um, with blue and an orange. I don't remember what blue in particular or what orange in particular, but I used a blue and an orange to make this kind of tealy. Um, it almost looks like it's not showing up really well on the camera. If you've used Deep Blue Sea, is that an apple barrel or is that a deco art? Um, I'm not sure, but there's a deep blue sea in one of these lines. Um, it's really, really pretty, and that's what that reminds me of. And then I have Warm White by Deco Art. I think it's an American, it's right here, Americano. Americana, Warm White. Um, I thought regular white was just a little too much of a contrast. So, my plan is to swipe with gold. Um, but I'm also going to put a little bit of gold on the canvas as well. I have no plan... As of right now, for how I'm going to put the colors down on the canvas, um, that might be smart. But I really don't. I don't have, I love these colors together and I just haven't quite thought about that. Um, they are all mixed with Floetrol, a little bit of water, and everything but the white has um, silicone. And the only reason I did that is because um, I had the gold already mixed, this was already mixed. Um, and the white I didn't want to add silicone to even though I'm not swiping with it because um, um, I might want to, if I have some left over, which I'm going to have some left over, I want to be able to use it, you know, if I want to use it as a background color and I don't want silicone in it. So I'm kind of going to do some fun little swirlies, I think. Let me stir this real fast. Um, this looks a little bit thick even though I just mixed it. Here's the end of this one. It's just a hair bit thick, so I am going to... Where's my water? Where'd my light go? My light turned off. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't stop recording. I will try and fix that lighting when I um, edit. So it's not dark. Okay. But if it turns off on me, I won't know because my light's not on. Okay, let's go in for some of this. This is really, really pretty. Browns and I don't always get along. Um, I don't know why. I've had problems... I. I finally found a brown that I really actually love, um, that I mix myself, but I do have a hard time sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's just because I don't, maybe I don't love the brown. I don't know. I mean, brown in particular. But, 
you know, I see some people use brown and it's just gorgeous. Baker Boo in particular, she uses brown. It just looks so beautiful. And then I use brown and it's like, oh, that's just brown. I don't know. Maybe it's my vision of my brown and if somebody else had done it, I'd like it. I don't know. Another one of those, you know, psychology questions. Is it because I'm doing it? You know, you see your own work different than you see other people's work. Um, for sure. You judge it differently. And you react to it. I think creating it makes you react quite a bit differently to it. Because you see it come together. You know, it's kind of funny because... Um, my husband and I have, when our first house we had, um, we did a faux finish in the kitchen. And um, I saw every little spot that we had a difficulty with or I thought I made a mistake. Saw everything. You know, and I don't think people who came in saw that. In fact, my husband got frustrated with what the paint was doing and he put his hand on it and kind of tried to pull it down so there was like a hand mark um, in the in the faux finish that nobody noticed until we pointed it out to him and of course we pointed it out to almost everybody because we thought it was funny but um you know it, it was something we couldn't not see and yet people who came in didn't see it so anyway just the psychology of creating art versus just seeing the art of being an observer these sides are not going to get covered. Okay. I really love this. I hope this color doesn't get buried because I do not have any more of it mixed. Okay, let's see. What do we want up here? A little bit more white up here? Maybe. Let's see if I can get some more of this out. And I definitely have enough paint. The thing about swipes, I always over to put more on the canvas than it needs. A little bit of this up here, just a little bit though. There we go. And I guess we'll fill in with this because I need to get this top bit covered since we don't have like a, I don't have a regular swipe color. I feel like this almost needs a warm color. Like a purple or something. Now that I'm seeing it on the canvas, I'm wondering if it needs a warm color. It feels a little flat. Maybe when I swipe it, it won't. Or it will, and I'll think, gosh, I should have gone with my gut and added a warm color. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some gold on my parchment paper. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of blue and this teal in there so it's not like all gold. Ah, come on. Can you see this? I hope this is in camera. I think it is. Okay, so a little blue in my blue in my brown. I don't think it's enough to matter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna carefully. This is closer to the canvas than I would have it if I wasn't recording, I think. Dip my paper towel in this. I'm gonna come over here, lay it on top, and swipe. What is that glob of paint from? That's bizarre. Okay, let's get this side real fast, because it didn't get covered. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get a new paper towel, dip. I love the cells with these wet paper towel and the, and the, I think the loaded paper towel seems to make really pretty cells. Okay. Okay, 
So actually let's fold this because I really want this teal. And pulled a little more off the canvas. Let's turn this over. Oh, I don't want to ruin those cells. Let's, I'm going to tilt this way. Let's tilt that way and then this way. I'm just going to tilt straight though. I'm not going to tilt crooked. I love these cells, so I don't want to, I'm not going to tilt because I do not want to waste these cells. Or I don't want to ruin these cells. What I'm going to do, I have more damp paper towels. I got I got plenty because I did not know much and I have plenty of runoff now. Um, yeah, I think for the first one or for after the first one, you know, there's plenty of runoff paint to dip the paper towel in. Okay, so I'm going to get this corner here. Probably don't even need the paper towel for this, but I think it'll give it kind of a similar texture. Let's get these sides covered. I'll use the paper towel. It won't look like, you know, something different happened there. Then I have this spot up here. I'm going to just, because I took too much paint off the canvas. I'm just going to go like that right there. There's a little bit of a bare spot where the paper towel dragged too much paint off. Okay. I'm not even going to torch. I'm just going to add some paint here Ooh, with my paper towel to these edges that did not get covered carefully right here so I don't mess up those cells that are so pretty. Okay, and I'll check the back when I'm not on camera, um, so my head's not like, you don't want to look at the back of my head. Um, but I think that's that's done. I'm not going to torch, and um, part of me wants to tilt right here where it's a little less exciting, but actually that kind of breaks it up. So I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch it a bit. Um, so let me pause it and we'll do some close-ups. So here we go. My phone focus. Obviously there's a little bare spot right there. I'll go through and fix the bare spots on the back. But look at those pretty cells. I love the shape of these cells. They're just wonky enough. You know, I don't want cells that are crazy wonky. I've had some like that. And I don't like crazy wonky cells. This shadow. I wonder why my flash isn't working. Oh, how pretty that is. So, okay, so I think it was okay without having um, a warm color. I like the way it, it turned out. Um, if you disagree, let me know if you think I should have added. I don't know, like a reddish purple, purple on the red side, or um, maybe just a hair bit of orange or, or a, you know, bronzy brown, reddish brown. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions. I love to hear your opinions when I should stop, if I should keep going, because like I said, you see it different than I do um, as an observer rather than the person doing it. So, you know, I love hearing what everybody else thinks about the whole process. So... Chat with me down in the comments, hit subscribe if you want to follow me on YouTube, and um, I'm also on some, um, Facebook, and we have a Facebook group, Fluid Art Fanatics, so if you'd like all that information, it's down in the description box. Any other questions, feel free to ask me. We will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring!